So a quick recap of our trip so far. Obviously we set off in the UK and then we went through France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, which is where we're up to in this video, and then we're going to travel through to Turkey to spend three months, hopefully, in the nice warm sunshine. So that's a little recap of our trip so far, but let's get back to where we are now, which is uh, in a little town called Nesabar in Bulgaria. So one thing straight away I've noticed about Bulgaria is that it's a proper mix of traditional countryside, I understand poverty, um, and then also very, very westernized cities that would put anywhere in the UK or Europe, um, you know, up for a match of everything you need in a city. Um, perfectly well tarmacked and signposted and drive around no problem whatsoever, all the shops, everything you need, services wise and stuff like that. And like again in the country it is more traditional. Like I say, there well may be less money in the countryside, but is that a bad thing? I mean we were coming through Romania and looking at some of the countryside, fair enough, not the, the slums where it's obvious that people are just making do living in shacks and stuff like that but there's a certain element of the basic house with the basic courtyard um yeah i don't know whether it's living in a van that's changed my mind but it kind of like rings true take things back to basic do you need all the fancy stuff all the time could you just nip into the city every time you want your city fix and then come back to the country and just be happy that you're taking your water from a well you've got chickens you're looking after and you're living in the countryside and it's all basic i kind of prefer that view in all fairness so yeah but so far bulgaria has that So we made it to Nesabar, I think it's called, little old town. Um, over the other side of the water there is, uh, is it called Sunshine Beach? Sunny, sunny Beach. Sunny Beach. It's not sunny at the minute. It's not sunny at the minute. False advertising, I tell you. And it's not that friendly for van parking either. Um, so we found this huge parking uh, lot here, car park, uh, which fortuitously for us, wait for the car to go past, yeah, fortuitously for us, um, the machines are all taped up and it doesn't seem to be taking any money off us. Nope. Oh. So we've got some, um, whatever the currency is, Lev. is here, Lev, yeah. if, um, if anybody needs it, so that's good. But yeah, I'm okay with free parking. A lot of places are like this, aren't they, out of mm. season where they don't charge. So and we We're only going to stay here a night, but we might stay here two nights now. Yeah. Well, there is another beach park up further down where we try that one, don't know. But... Yeah, could do two nights here if this is nice. Yeah. It's got fishing and um, ultimately it's got hopefully tat shops and bars restaurants babe restaurants. restaurants we don't need the booze we need the food so yeah, it's quite a nice little historic town behind us so let's go and explore Admit, I think I am slightly in love with Nesabar. It's just across the bay, I suppose, from uh, Sunny Beach. But this, I mean, I know it's out of season, but it's just little bits of ruins and these lovely quaint buildings and lots of seagulls. And then there's just, I'd say, 10% of the shops are open, maybe three restaurants on the whole little bit. But if you feel like having a holiday to Bulgaria and Sunny Beach has been an option, come here instead. Come to Nesabar because it's quiet and it's quaint and it's beautiful and you can go out to Sunny Beach for the day where it'll be hectic and high rise and 
all of those kind of things so you literally get the best of both worlds it is amazing and i love it oh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> plenty of 4g here i also think that i've got myself a little bit of a problem because i'm finding that all the countries that i go to so in Hungary I got some beautiful wine, I got some schnapps from uh, Slovakia because I was told that that was the best thing that they had and I've just picked up a bottle of cherry brandy which apparently is clear and um, it's traditional Bulgarian cherry brandy apparently so I think I'd be daft if, uh, if I didn't give that a try don't you think? So the van is getting weighed down with all of these booze, all of the booze from all the different places um, because I've got to give it a try, you know. I'm sorry, but the old 4 by 4 ladder is brilliant. Um, but yeah, so Hungarian schnapps, cherry brandy, wine. Yeah, I'm all for that. So God help who we meet first if we uh, get to bump into anybody from... Uh, from England or anybody that we know or anybody at all from anywhere who wants to sit down and have a drink with us because it'll be like wait there technically hold my beer <laughs> and um and yeah and I'll go and have a route through and see what you fancy first oh Finlandian vodka good old Jack Daniels so that's Tennessee whiskey so uh, yeah all the different alcohols from all over the world available in our van well, like a mobile bar. Look at this, though. Got all the ruins and stuff. Nessa bar, tell you, brilliant. We found a restaurant that's open. I think it was the only restaurant that's open. I think it's literally it? the whole one, the only one on the whole island, yeah. little, little island anyway that we're on. Fortunately, it seems to do good food and they're nice enough to let us cook. Look, cooks there as well. Is he, is he, is he fast asleep already? Yeah. And if we zoom in, you can see our house from there. Isn't that cool? Right then, I suppose we best pick what we're having. Oh, uh, we even brought some water from Mr. Coopy as well. Cheers, then. Oh yeah, that's all right. Oh, that's nice. I'll take a picture because that's um, like on the shots, kind of nice. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that was very nice. That and was, the beer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this old town is so cool and so very unique. Oh I've yeah. I've never seen anything like this before. No, it's absolutely amazing. I love it. There are stone and wooden clad buildings and everything. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work going on. Yeah, and it seems to be the thing out of season. Everyone's getting everything ready for the new one. Yeah. But we found the one restaurant that's open in town. Unfortunately for us, really good food. I'm just going to show them the, the ruins. Nice ruins. And this is why we like it here because you're just walking around and only the house is really quaint and lovely. We just get around and then there's just like what looks like a little old acropolis or something. It's just there and it's so quaint and pretty. It's yeah. really good. But yeah, that food. We will I be could back have chosen. There tomorrow. Oh yes. I think <laughs> I made in mind that we were undecided whether we'd stay here for two nights. Yeah. And uh, in typical John and Mandy fashion, because the food is good, <laughs> we're staying. <laughs> you know what? There are two reasons why we like doing things. Either it's got to be epic views or something like that, or epic food. Aye. And this one's got pretty much both. Aye. I think we just need to stop for a second though. Look. <gasps> Ice cream. And it's open. I didn't point at the Fuji banana. Look at the little mini model, oh, of, the the, model. Of, the, of the town. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite cool. So this is where we came in. We drove down there, drove around there, and we're in the car park probably about there. Yeah, I'd say that. That means right now, we are about there in the restaurant. Mm. And the ruins of the church, which look to be about there, is what you can see there. And the restaurant we ate at is just behind where it says change over there. Yeah, although you can get change everywhere. Where? Well, yeah, cool little place. Oh, I'm well impressed we found that. We've, everywhere was shut, as you saw. So that's the restaurant where we're just eating. 
But look at all the buildings, aren't they cool? All the fishing boats are in. And someone's trying to get their uh, old escort going as well. wonder if the guy in that fishing boat there knows he won't catch much fish with the stay there. I don't think he knows that, no. Yeah, I reckon he's caught more fish than you. So this is us leaving Nessabar, I think it's called. Yes. Um, little spit of an island off the coast, just a bit further down from what most people are call Sunny Beach. Yes, it's we Cloudy Beach at the minute. Yeah, we call it Cloudy and Ghost Beach. Yes, because literally, up beach. no one is around but, there. It's quite funny because summer we're, beach. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny because where we park now is exactly opposite Sunny Beach, mm. albeit it's a few hundred meters away. And um, there's been no lights on at night or anything. It's like no one's there. No, literally street lights. That's all you can yeah. see. And there's just like a line of white dots, like a, a serrated line, isn't there, yeah. all the way down? So cool. Um, which looks quite cool. But yeah, nothing else. So it is all closed. I think we made the, the right call. We're not big resort people anyway. I think we made the right call coming a little bit further to Nessabar because I know it's a car park and people have issues with parking in car parks. But it's a free car park. It's free. It's flat. There's um, a walkway that literally takes you all the way around the outside of yeah. the little spit of, of land and there are, we found another one yesterday, so there are two restaurants open, out of season, which is always good to know, and there's shops and pharmacies and places that make you buy cherry brandy. But anyway, now we're going to move closer to Burgas, because um, we're going to find a vet to get Cooper his worming tablets done. It's Sunday today, so we're going to wait until tomorrow so we can get all that done. So we're going to find a little park up, Mandy's found one near a harbour, which is like um, an air. It's like five quid a night, five euros a night, and it's electric water, empty the loo, and it's in the right spot. So yep, sounds perfect. Give that a go. And I can try and not catch any fish again while we're there. Let's not talk about fish. There's the van. Glorious van. And look at this. That's pretty alright, isn't it? So how cool is this place then? This is pretty cool. In your little steps, so you're the same height. <laughs> I have to stand on a step, otherwise I'll look like a miniature Mandy. Aww. Oh, like my mini Mandy. <laughs> you like mini Mandy? Yeah. Nice alright then. <laughs> so how much did you work it out to be a night? Four pounds and thirty-four pence. Not bad going really. No. So what do we get for that? It's um, everything really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we've got hook up, fresh water. They've got they've yet to put a proper chemical toilet point in, but they don't mind you using their um, toilet, toilet, which yeah. has got rinsing facilities and everything in there. So uh, yeah, we checked with the bloke. The bloke was so helpful, isn't he? It was lovely. They don't take cash just yet. No, there's no way to take so cards. They don't take cash. They, they don't, don't take, take cards, cards just yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to uh, nip off to the local town. So it's only about uh, was it uh, 15, fifteen minutes, minutes away? Yeah. So a local little town. Go and get some cash out because um, somebody was spending cash yesterday. I did have cash. I now have nine lev, and it's ten lev a night, which is just typical. So uh, yeah, yeah. you're buying what was it? You're buying brandy or something? Cherry, the Bulgarian cherry brandy. Oh, Mandy was nearly crying. She saw that. She's like, no. It's a harbour with fishing, why can't I fish? But you're alright, aren't you? Yep, it's just between um, April and October, uh, August, sorry. So I'm assuming that that's breeding season for some fish. So some the, fish. Just, you don't fish them when they're breathing. No. breathing. <laughs> when they're breeding. No. I can't get my words right today. Well, sure. What I am finding a little bit strange so far, and I'm trying not to do it for obvious reasons, but I'm finding a lot of people, as soon as they see you recording with a camera, they hide the faces, pull the hood up. Yesterday or the other day, there was a guy who even actually covered his face up like that. Now, I've checked online, and there are no laws about recording in public in Bulgaria. That's perfectly all right. No laws about having cameras and that, such that they might be in Portugal and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know whether they're just not used to it or not. Mm. But I've noticed it because it's so different and so obvious that people are doing it. Yeah. yeah. It's strange, uh, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Surprise, surprise, we found ourselves at another restaurant. <laughs> well, we had to walk for a cash machine, so yeah. we needed a rest. So, yeah, we've already found 
baked cheese with honey and walnuts looks pretty cool garlic chicken bites see Mandy had that the other day at the restaurant we were at yeah with the mushroom sauce that was yeah, amazing yeah shavings of parmesan and everything so I like that one but then you've got a beef burger with bacon cheddar cheese well that sounds like a bit of you babe <laughs> this is so nice I, we were talking about this the other day we were talking about the fact that I was really worried because I'm a fussy eater so I was really worried that we come to all these places 24 25 of which we're at 17 right now mm. and I would I would be eating chips at best maybe some bread and chips and yet so far not a single country's let me down the worst case scenario everyone's done a banging Good pizza, pizza. Yeah. yeah but just save the day and everyone seems to do french fries as well Pomfrey, mm. whatever they're calling it so that saved the day as well but bulgaria <laughs> definitely been better for food yes we're eating out absolutely. most here as well i think than anywhere else yeah so yeah. yeah definitely happy with bulgaria we may have ordered too much food yeah <laughs> we hear may that have. a lot yeah but um yeah there's so much food in here i actually said to mandy i feel a pain because sometimes you can't decide i'm sat here looking at three meals going just decide already this time there was probably 10 that i could have eaten and that's just meals never yeah. mind the starters and sides yeah. and everything and the desserts yeah oh so, yeah we shall show you when it comes out it's very good we we'll have just let you know. yeah we are outside right now it's 16 degrees it's quite overcast sunny now and again it's all right who is laying on his little blanket there bless him oh he knows mummy's got the treats that's why he's sat like that yeah good boy but yeah quite looking forward to this food garlic bread the cheese garlic bread are you having any well i'm having my baked cheese are you wanting to share my baked cheese oh that was nice food even if we did struggle to finish it off <laughs> close to finishing it off yeah, there's only a couple of slices of your pizza because you're a lightweight, really. <laughs> we ordered a lot of food that we were supposed to share <laughs> and you didn't share with me. Well, I had to eat the whole cheese thing myself and you had the, the garlic bread with cheese. It's yeah, fair. Didn't really. like the cheese thing, though. No. I like cheese. Yeah. I do like cheese a lot. But yeah, that was nice food. But we always struggle, don't we? Because it's like going somewhere like that where you find choices that you like in abundance. How? Excuse me a second. Hello, um, tripping over a dog on the way. Um, how um, how do you choose when you know you're only going to visit that restaurant once? Fisherman Monday, Fisher Person Monday, Fisher Price Monday, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fisher Priceless Monday. Oh, you see, you're getting better. <laughs> yeah, look at my fish coming in. Look, you see my law coming in. Oh yeah. Doing it's ducking and it's diving. Nothing on the end of it though. But weeds. Weeds. Because it's weedy. Mm. There's the van parked. Just the lovely little harbour though. Like I say, got bats knocking about. Nice little sunset and everything going on. What? The bats? Yeah, I know. Keeping an eye on it, you see. Yeah. There he is. Fast little thing. I'm going to get out of your way if you're going to cast again. Watch my bike. <laughs> Take a silly question, but you've not caught anything. No. No. Of course oh, not. You had fun though. I am having fun. And I was thinking to myself, oh, I'm going to have to come in now because I didn't bring my head torch because I'm a banana. Hiya. Can put the light on? <laughs> and they're like, all oh, those lights came on, and I'm like, yeah, they did come on first. Didn't oh, they? I'm feeling a bit left out. It's a bit dark over here. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, yeah, the lights mm. came on. I'm not fishing here because there was some of those cormorants again fishing, mocking me. Oh, baby. So we can hear an eerie voice, uh, eerie noise. We can hear that in the van. It's like, what is that noise? And it must be all the lines on the masts and things. Because it's picking up a bit of a, a bit of breeze. It's blowing a little bit of a hooli. But yeah, that's uh, interesting.
Good morning folks and welcome to a very windy Bulgaria. It was an interesting night's sleep last night, wasn't it? Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean not only have you got all the sort of whatever you class it as, rope work or whatever, over all the boats, masts and can you just hear Dave cringing? Oh yeah, because yeah, Dave's like, going, no, it's <laughs> the technical the term line. is the boom, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. But yeah, they were all twinging around and then there's obviously the wind howling through the masts, which is whistling away. Which you probably get probably to hear right now, because um, yeah. I did a video last night and scared myself. Yeah, uh, but the gusts are up to 45 miles an hour. And the worst bit about that is that where we're going to go to take Coop to have his uh, vets things done um, is over a bridge. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. Uh, there's one thing I would like to say right now that we keep forgetting. It's because we're just, you know, not the best YouTubers out there. Um, but um, thanks to all our new subscribers or thanks to everyone that watches our videos and uh, gives us the thumbs up and those who comment and everything really appreciate your comments. Um, yeah, just wanted to say thank you very much. Yes, thank you to everybody, to like you say, the subscribers and likers and commenters and members and Instagram followers and everybody because we're yeah. getting lots of interaction and it is wonderful and we love it. So, yeah. thank you very, very much. And if you don't follow us on Instagram, um, I'll put our two Instagram accounts down below. Uh, Mandy's fussy and she's got her own, you see, whereas I just have the joint one. So. You stole mine. I had this for the, for the first <laughs> band we had, and then you stole it from me and, and went, went from 49 followers to 11,000 and something. So I'll let you have that. It's 12,400, but I'll let you off. <gasps> <laughs> well done, babe. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we've had a surge of new subscribers on this channel as well, so thank you to all you new subscribers, which are mostly, I would have said, um, from Sweden. Yes. So welcome along. I hope you are enjoying the journey, not only from Sweden and all the way around the coastline, um, you know, that we... Where do we go to now? It's like... Everywhere, though. Uh, Everywhere. I was trying to think, but <laughs> yes. All the way down to the, where we are currently on the Black Sea in yes. Bulgaria, which we are really surprised about how oh, yeah. nice Bulgaria is around here. Yeah. Um, the roads could yeah. do with a little, just a little bit of... Yeah, thing, I think the Bulgarians and the Hungarians have the same road budget. Yeah. Which is back in the 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> no, but everything else, Bulgaria. I think we've been surprised by so many places and so many different things. We're actually getting bored of hearing ourselves say it now, aren't we? It's just yeah. like, oh my God, I never expected this. This is, that's what that would have been the title of every video because every single country, I don't know where we've got our preconceptions from. But Probably historical stuff we've seen on TV or yeah. um, school and stuff like that, maybe. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's been it's been shocking in the best way everywhere yes. we've been. We have had such a wonderful time, so much so that we are definitely coming back here after we come out of Turkey. We're coming. Yeah, back we're going to come back and do the other side. loop. Yeah, with the other side where Sofia and stuff like that. So, and that's not overlanding Sofia. No. It's just Sofia in Bulgaria. Yeah. We hopefully will see Cheska and Ben as well. Yeah. But you know, there you go. They, they could do with going to taking Sofia to Sofia. Yeah, they could, couldn't they? Yeah. There you go, guys. Yeah. Sort that out. <laughs> right, anyway, we need to um, refresh the water. Uh, we're on our four pounds hook up and everything last night, and uh, we Bye. both had. Really nice long showers. Long, hot showers. John did the hot. John filled up the water first. I'm like, why are you doing it? We've still got half a tank. He goes, big showers. It's big like, showers. Okay. Yeah. We literally had a wonderful, wonderful shower. Obviously, we got the Truma system in our van, uh, as well as the diesel heater. So the Truma system runs on gas or electric. So it's like a combi boiler you have in your house. So yeah, we put that on electric, and then obviously hot water. Yes, please. Lovely showers last night. So yeah, replenish the water. Um, unhook the electric and then um, empty the loo and go get coop sorted. Right, just want to interject a tiny bit because it sounded like we don't have showers. We do, we just normally have oh, incredibly yeah. quick showers. Yeah. We are very, very, very proud of our five litre showers. Yes. <laughs> so normally we can both shower on um, five litres each. So within 10 litres of water, um, we can both have like wash down, shower, wash down again kind of thing so yeah. and obviously i've got to wash my hair too so yeah um, i don't have that problem oh are you ready moopy 
Ready! Right, there we go. Hey. All sorted out. All sorted out. Yep. French passport to the rescue once again. Yep. So all done, and we can go to Turkey. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ooh, copy. And. And. Health check. Yep. Wormer. Flea treatment. Yep. Twenty-one quid. Can't argue with that, can we? No. Well, let's go find a park up. Hey. And um, fifty-four mile an hour winds now that they've upgraded to. And on the way down here, on the dual carriageway, there was a tree that had gone across all four lanes. Yeah. And the police were in the process of chopping it up, getting it out of the way. Interesting. I like the uh, absolute lack of uh, health and safety there yeah. and stuff like that. They were just in the middle of the road, just yeah, chopping. Yeah, just chopping the tree down. Holding the hands up to the cars, steaming down at 80 clicks. So yeah, the problem that we've got now is that we are very coastal. We've done this on purpose to kind of get to the vets and do all that. So... <laughs> Yeah, being on the coast when you get 54 mile an hour winds isn't good. But yeah, we'll go find some shelter. Mm -hmm.